Iran. Coronavirus death toll exceeds 50,500. The MEK announced on Tuesday that the coronavirus death toll in 327 cities across Iran has surpassed 50,500. Mohammad Reza Sham Akdak Ani, an advisor to the regime's health minister, acknowledged the deteriorating situation. He said, The number of identified patients is increasing. People should know that we will be living with the coronavirus epidemic for the next couple of years. In Iran, we acted quicker than Europe in reopening businesses. We thought the situation was getting normal, while it is not. Each coronavirus test cost about 400,000 tomans for the government. I'm sure if the situation gets worse, the restrictions will be reimposed and this should happen. Regime lashes two activists arrested during Iran protests. Two men were flogged on Monday for participating in protests in the city of Ermia, northwest Iran, as part of the nationwide Iran protests in November over the sudden gas price hike. In March, Branch 101 of the Criminal Court of Ermia sentenced the two protesters to 20 lashes and a fine instead of eight months' imprisonment on the charge of disturbing public order. Female political prisoner contracts coronavirus in Iran prison. Zeniab Jalalian, a female Kurdish political prisoner serving a life sentence, has contracted the coronavirus at Karchak prison in Baramin, according to her father. On the order of the intelligence ministry, authorities have refused to transfer her to hospital for COVID-19 treatment. She's currently being held at the coronavirus quarantine ward of the prison's clinic with several other coronavirus patients. Since she suffers from various diseases such as heart, intestinal and kidney problems, her life is in immediate danger.